can begin. Elizabeth, try to tap the screen. Is it coming up? You have to like tap each one. Yeah. Yes. 
inspiration. Helping you breathe? I don't know. Have you produced? Have you been popping up phlegm? No. no. smoke Miss Emerson? I did. You did? For how long? A long time ago. Oh, so you, you, you stopped? I stopped. Okay. That's good. I have a I'm short of breath. You're short of breath? Well, maybe oxygen should help you breathe, okay? And sitting up should help you breathe a little bit further. Um, so the doctor ordered a chest x-ray. So the technician is going to come into the room and take that, okay? Okay. Um, so do you know what, that, what a chest x-ray is for? It's so that the doctor can get a look at your lungs to see if there's um, any consolidation or any fluids, any um, infiltrates, any fluids within the lungs. It's, it's going to be painless and it'll just take maybe 10 to 15 minutes, not even. Okay. Do I have to go downstairs in a wheelchair? No, the the radiologist is gonna come here oh. and do it in the room. Okay. Okay. Do you have any more questions? No. Okay. Is there anything I can get you? Do you want some water? No, I just want to go to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna let you rest for two minutes and then I'll make a call downstairs and. He'll come and take the x ray, okay? Okay. Good. 
good? Yep. Hello, this is Ms. Emerson. Hello, Mrs. Emerson. My name is Kamal. I'm here to do your chest x-ray. She, uh, she was admitted Okay, Ms. Emerson, can you verify your first and last name for me? You just said my last name. My name is Rita. Rita. You just said it, Emerson. I need to hear you say it, ma'am, just for ver verification purposes. Rita Emerson. Thank you very much. And your date of birth? February 1st. What year? Sorry, ma'am, it's protocol. I have to ask. 1955. Okay, thank you very much. So, your doctor ordered a chest x ray. So, we're going to do a quick x ray to see your lungs, okay? Okay. Okay. Is it? Not at all. So what are we gonna do? Let me know, yeah. We're gonna like, sit her up. I'm gonna put it behind her, we'll sit her back, and I'll set it up. Okay, Miss Emerson, we're gonna move you, I'm gonna sit you up, and I'm gonna place this cassette behind you, okay? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna sit you up and I'm gonna place this cassette behind you so I can take you out to it. Okay? Okay. Sit up this Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna lift you up, okay? One, two, three. All right, let's sit back. Good. It's gonna be a little cold. Oh, that's cold. Uh, you'll be alright. Okay, Mr. Wilson. Okay. I'm gonna place this shoe on your lap, okay? This is for, for protection from the radiation, okay? I'm gonna put some oxygen on you, Miss Emerson. What are you checking? What are you? T what, what is this for? I'm gonna shield? put some... The shield is to protect you from radiation. What radiation? There's a little bit of radiation you're gonna get from the x-ray machine. Why, why are you giving me radiation? I don't want radiation. Well, the doctor ordered the chest x-ray for you, so... But he didn't order radiation, did he? Why would he do that to me? Why would he want to give me cancer? No, you're not going to get cancer. He, the doctor the doctor feels that this x-ray is going to be beneficial to you, so the little bit of radiation you're going to get is... I don't want radiation. I didn't ask for any kind of hospital to get radiation. Ms. Emerson, it's going to be okay. No, it's not okay to get radiation. No, it's very small, man. The, the amount of radiation that it does emit doesn't affect you. Every as bit long of radiation as affects you. Well, I covered up the part that's most sensitive to the radiation, so you'll be fine. What do you mean? I don't have any parts left. Then you'll be fine, no? No! Uh, Ms. Emerson, um, I think that um, since you don't have this procedure done all the time, the radiation doesn't affect you as much. So How much radiation are we talking it's about? It's very minimal. Very, very minimal. minimal. What's minimal? My minimal is not your minimal. Not enough to cause an, to cause damage. Much less than flying in the airplane. I don't fly. <laughs> I don't fly, I drive everywhere. Oh. No, I'll never fly. No, I know, it's, as, it's comparable to like microwave, right? No, less. Less? less. See, look at that, even I don't less. I want to use a microwave. Well. Give me something more. I don't understand why you're exposing me. Well, basically, what we're doing, the doctor feels that. You need to have this chest x-ray so he can see what's going on with your lungs since you're having problems breathing. So the radiation that you're going to get from this machine 
is going to be beneficial for you, it's going to do more good than hurt you. And it's very minimal radiation. You're covered up, so you should be fine. You're covering parts that I don't want to have. You don't have ovaries? No, I have she's, nothing she's left. Oh, okay. Okay, so you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll call if you if you would like to talk to your doctor, we can call your doctor. When was the last time you had a chest X-ray? Uh, me about six months ago. Did you cover your private? I sure did. Just finish it. Hurry up! You're okay. killing me, literally. Okay, man. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you breathing instructions, okay? I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath and hold it in, but not yet, okay? I have to breathe? You do. You're going to take a deep breath and hold it in. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. You don't know if you can do that? All right. What I can do, I can just watch you as you breathe, and I'll take the picture. when I see you're breathing out, in. Okay, you ready? I'm confused, what am I doing? Just breathe normal, man. And you exit the room, I would watch her breathe, and I just expose. I didn't breathe. You didn't tell me to breathe. No, I told you to breathe normal, man. Why am I breathing? You told me that, that I had to hold my breath before. No, you told me you couldn't do it. You didn't even let me try. Nah, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Not to worry, exposing me to radiation. Now you're telling me not to worry about breathing. I'm going to take this from you, okay? I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for you, man. Hi, Miss Emerson. See, look at that. Look, it's all over with. Do you have any pain? I gotta get my cassette and then we can get out of here. Okay, Miss Emerson, we're gonna move you up and grab the cassette, okay? Alright, on you. One, two, three. Alright, ma'am. Be well. Have a good day. Thank you. You're very welcome. Make the crazy. Was that, mis was that so bad, Mr. Emerson? It was terrible. He exposed me to radiation, and then he told me to breathe oh. and hold my breath, and then he told me not to hold my breath, and told me it was okay, and now I'm worried. Well, now it's over with. And terrible. He got, the, he got the image he, that the doctor ordered. Um, is there anything that I can get for you to make you feel better? Bless the red wine. Oh, uh, I would love to give you that, but it's not on your diet. Oh, neither is radiation. Well, that, well, that the doctor ordered, so it's gonna, it's gonna benefit you in the end. Okay. You want some water? If I could pretend it's red wine. 